Good day everyone! Welcome back to mga Tarang National High School New Normal Classes. Kumusta grade 11 arts and science students? You are now in your first quarter week 1 of your lesson. And I am Sir Jonathan Elvinides, your subject teacher for today. Our lesson is all about the development of visual arts in the Philippines during the pre-colonial or pre-Spanish colonial, 890-710 BC. We have our quarter one, week one, content standard. The learner demonstrates appreciation of all the visual art forms and the processes enter into the production of each. Performance standard. The learner explains the historical context and cultural traditions behind existing examples of pieces local and international. Learning competencies. The learner identifies various visual art and applied art forms explained historical context, cultural tradition, processes, and production of each true documentation and catalog. Text and images, digital or print. Example, glossary of art, design vocabulary, in a journal or idea book. The objectives of the study. First, the student must identify the notable visual artworks during the pre-Spanish colonial. Second, understand the process and iconography of visual arts during the pre-Spanish colonial. Third, correlate the Philippine contemporary art to its origins and the world. And fourth, define what makes a visual artwork distinctly Filipino. Introduction This is a recall of the Philippine history and its artistic broad that depicts the lives of Filipinos through the various forms of the arts, accumulated from the beginning of civilization in the country up to the present era. They reflect the range of cultural influences of the country's culture, including indigenous forms of the arts, and how these influences form the country's arts. Visual Arts The visual arts include the wide array of media, tools, and processes. The areas most people associate with the visual arts include drawing, painting, printmaking, sculpture, and photography. There are, however, many other areas that fall entirely or partially within visual arts, ranging from design areas such as architecture and the built environment, fiber and clothing to the folk arts, and from crafts to video animation. Visual artists work with producers to develop costumes and scenery for works of theater. Here are notable visual art pieces and artworks during the pre-Spanish colonial. First, we have the Manungul Job. Early Filipinos, painting can be found the red slip clay mixed with water designs embellished on the ritual pottery of the Philippines such as the clay. The cultural treasure found in the early 1960s in Manungul Cave, Nipu on Point, Palawan is a secondary burial jar. The upper portion of the jar, as well as the cover, is incised with curvilinear square designs and painted with natural iron or handwood. Meanings of Figures 
The bald man is seated behind a figure whose hands are crossed on the chest. The position of the hands is a traditional Filipino practice observed when arranging the corpse. The burial jar, which is unrevealed in Southeast Asia and considered as the work of the master potter, signifies the belief of the early Filipinos in life after death. Background Study the Manungul jar shows that our maritime culture is so paramount to us that it's reflected our ancestors' religious beliefs because we are surrounded with bodies of waters here in the Philippines. Our ancestors believe that man is composed of the body, the life force called the Pinhawa, and the Kalulua. The Kalulua, after death, can return to earth to exist in nature to guide their descendants. Many epics around the Philippines will tell us how souls go to the next life aboard boats passing through the rivers and seas. The belief is very much connected with the Austronesia belief in the Anita. So what is Astronesia or Astronesia? A family of languages spoken in the Malay Peninsula, Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, Madagascar, and Shani. While Anito, also spelled Anipu, refers to ancestor spirits, nature spirits, and deities in the indigenous animistic religions of pre-colonial Philippines. It can also refer to carved humanoid figures, the Tao Tao, made of wood, stone, or ivory that represent these spirits. This explains why the design of the cover of the Manungul jar features three faces, those of the soul, of the boat driver, and the boat itself. For them, even things from nature have souls, have good lives of their own. That's why our ancestors respected nature more than those who thought that it can be used for ends of men. Next up is Pintados. Paintings are also manifested in the tattoo tradition of the Portuguese explorer, Spanish colonists referred to as Pintados, or Painted People of the Visayas. They were found on the islands of Cebu, Bohol, eastern part of Negros, Leyte, and Samar in Vicayas, or Visayas region of the Philippines. The picture in the left is Prince Violu, who is a tattooed tribal man, was purchased as a slave in Mindanao and became a part of public exhibition in England, making him living art. The Pintados Casaljan Festival, which is a month-long celebration or festival in Tacloban Leyte, which feature people painting their bodies like the Pintados before. The first Spaniards to arrive in the Philippines, however, saw them quite differently when they were ultimately defeated by fears. Noble warriors from the Visayas covered in Gothic statue designs all over their body. These painted people, or pintados, as called by the conquistadores, cemented their mark in the diverse history of the Philippines. The tattooed head hunters. The picture shows the two buntok Igorot men with chaplag. Chaplag is a chest tattoo. 
picture is dated 1990-1920. They are found in the northern part of the Philippines, the hardened mountain men from the tribes of Kalinga, Bundok, and Ipugao. Also practice tattoo rituals or pagpapatok. Like the Pintados, tattoos are often seen of the bravest warriors and headhunters. Their women also have the right to possess the tattoos of their body, wherein it is believed to increase their beauty as well as their fertility. How to gain the batok or tattoos? Having a tattoo for this Hainan people marks the beginning of a man's journey from a legitimate headhunter to a fearsome warrior. Men can officially be named as a headhunter the moment he managed to make his first kill. Doing this will make him acquire a tattoo called Kulot, which described as a banded script pattern. When he gets his second kill, he can now have another tattoo that will be placed in his hands. The more kills he will get in his lifetime, the more intricate designs of tattoo will be placed on him. This continues until such time that he acquires a tattoo on his cheeks, which signifies him as a warrior of the highest level, gaining the title of Maingor. Current living artists who practice Pagbabatok or Ritual that make The National Commission for Culture and the Arts awarded Maria Wang Od Ugay the Dangal ng Haraya for Ceremony. For her intricate designs and preserving the Pagbabatok or Ritual that make. Next is Ukyo. Ukyo is a design or pattern often rendered or carved in the hardwood, brass, silver, and wall painting in curvilinear lines and Arabic geometric figures. The Ukyo motif is an art depicting the indigenous originality and scale of the Maranaos. There are several patterns of the ukiyo. In the book of Dr. Nagasura Madali, it explains that the ukiyo is patterns which are used by Maranao artists. First, the matila or circle. Second, the puyok or bud. Third, the dapal or leaf. Fourth, the pako or fern or spiral form. Five, the 2D or fern leaf with spiral and upper edge. Six, the pako lungat, fern leaf with a cut at one edge. Another elements found by Dr. Madali are naga, ubid ubid bin, binotoon, piano, panakol, or Bakunai and Janitari. There are common themes of the Ukyo. First up, we have the Panolo. Laga dragons and the Sari Manok are usually painted a beautiful Panolo of, the, of their Turogan or King's House. The Panolong is a house ornamented fashion by the Maranao people and is architectural translation of row, which means the protruding part in the front of a ship. What is Turogan? Turogan is a traditional house built by the Maranao, people of Lanao, Mindanao, Philippines and it was a symbol of high social status.
such a residence was once a home to a da sultan or that in a Maranao community. Next, the Naga Dragon. The Maranao Naga or sea serpent figure is believed to be related to the Sama at Taagda motifs. They are particularly common motif in the beautiful, beautifully carved Rose, stern, and gunwales of various Sama of Jao books. These Naga figures were meant to drive away evil spirits. Next is Sari Manok. The Sari Manok was originated from the islands of Mindanao and is known to be the legendary bird of the Maranao people. Its name came from the word Sari and mano. Sari means cloth or garment with assorted colors while manok is the Tagalog for the chicken. The Sari manok is also became the symbol of Baranao art. It is described as a bowl with colorful wings, feathered tail, and is holding a fish on its beak and talons. Its head is decorated with skull and spiral motifs to symbolize good fortune. Modern Interpretations of the Upir Rendered in an Artwork This example of artwork is created by our national artist for painting, Abdul Marie Asia Imao which have titled Sari Mano. It was being created in an acrylic on canvas with a size of 19.1 cm by 61 cm, being done in 2012. Next, we have the Angono Petroglyphs. The Mono Petroglyph Site Museum is situated at the Muse municipality of Pinangonan, province of Rizal, three and a half kilometers southeast of the town of Angono. It was discovered in 1965 by national artist Carlos Botong Francisco during a field trip with a troop of Boy Scouts. He reported the National Museum the existence of the cave with drawings of the primitive quality. Next, we have the shell bracelets and pendants, New Stone Age. In the early days, shells were fashioned into tools, as well as ornaments. The oldest known ornaments made from cone shells were found in the early 1960s in the grave of an adult male in Duyong Cave in Palawan. A shell disc with hole in the center was found next to his right ear and a disc with a hole where the edge was found on his chest. These shell ornaments were dated 4854 BC. Other personal ornaments such as earrings, anklets, bracelets, and beads recovered from grave sites were found together with spoons, diapers, and other tools fashioned from shells. Next, we have the Ling Ling O, a metal metal age. This was being created or done in Buyong Cave, Palawan. Ling Ling Po, a kind of ear pendant fashioned from green, nitrate, or jade, is the characteristic trait of the early metal age. Its basic form is a ring with a slit in one side to fit the first 
The simplest is plain, but some are decorated with three stubs in the form of buds. Sometimes these studs are elongated into long spines or projections. We have other pre-colonial artworks. Such as weaving, carving, metal crafts, and pottery. That ends our lesson for today. If you have queries and questions, just don't be shy to ask questions. Thank you, and see you next meeting. Adios.